College basketball is in full swing, and the early season tournaments feature games that went down to the wire. Teams like Gonzaga have scored, uh, soared in the early season, while defending national champion Villanova fell twice and dropped out of the top 25, and made an appearance back in this, after the AP poll. I'm joined at the desk by Brad and Evan to discuss the NCAA's pretenders and contenders after the November tournaments. So, Brad, what do you think of Gonzaga? Um, so, when I watch college basketball normally, I watch it in the scope of for draft prospects. And not only, looking at it from a pure basketball standpoint, not only did they take down the best team in the country in Duke, Rui Hachimura, his play was incredible. He looked like every bit the top 10 draft pick he is projected to be. And if you watched R.J. Barrett, in the end of that game against Duke, they ran the same play four or five times. He tried to drive the rim every single time. Hachimura kept stonewalling him. And the rest of the team, there's a very cohesive unit. I think they're going to go very that, far that, this year. That, the ending of the Duke game, just uh, there's a lot of things I want to say about Gonzaga real quick. The team looks like the real deal, but I'm not sold on them. They don't play anyone good. The only teams they play that are ranked are Duke, UNC, and Tennessee. That's it. But, but they do this every year. They're going to run the table, but if you look at that Duke game, Yes, Hachimura was incredible. I was blown away by him. I was very impressed. He dominated Duke in every bit of the game, but the team did not close the game late, and that's what I'm worried about. But they should have beaten Duke by a lot more than they did. That's fair to say, and I do understand the sentiment of Gonzaga being the team that benefits from not playing a ton of great competition every single year. They're the UCF of basketball. Yeah, but they already beat Duke. The they, best team in the country. I know they, they should have been Duke, but, but they should have been a bigger statement. Well, Duke should have done a lot them. better than they did. What do you think of Villanova, Evan? Villanova, there are a lot of question marks surrounding this team. You know, you lost to Michigan, which, you know, is a good team, but they got, they, they lost to Furman, which is unacceptable if you're the defending champion. You know, their defense isn't there uh, as it was last year, and their offense looks lost. Shots aren't falling for them. Only one starter is shooting over 40% from three, and that's kind of their mantra last year. The mantra was a 3 and D team. Mm -hmm. We're going to get out. We're going to run. We're not going to be the biggest, but we're going to be the fastest, mo uh, most well-prepared, and they shot really well and from three. And I, they just, I, all I'm going to do is that. just repeat basically yeah. what you said. This is a team that last year won the championship off of dynamic offense. That dynamic offense is completely it's not it's even there, not there anymore. It does not exist. Losing to Furman, you know, I, they're what, they're 23 right now, right? 20, yeah, they're 23 in the country. It just unaccept that loss. Well, yeah, well, look, Brad, what do you think about Auburn now? Auburn. We'll move over to Auburn and other Auburn. different okay, teams. Wow. Yeah. So Auburn is, when you look at Auburn, and what, do they think they're eight right now? Yeah. When you look at Auburn, you think football. But now we've seen this is a very successful team so far this year. They're eighth in the nation right now. We just had a couple days ago, they have a great recruiting class coming in oh, yeah. for 2019 also. So more than just the micro of this season, the macro as a whole, I think we're seeing a shift in Auburn from being a football school to a basketball in, school. In my opinion, Auburn can easily win the SEC. Jared, uh, yeah, Harper, Jared Harper can flat out ball. That dude was incredible in the game against Duke. Mm -hmm. You saw Duke you know, extend the lead to you know, around 20 points, high teens. Auburn cut it back to single digits. Duke extended. Auburn cut it back. And, and the reason why Auburn cut it back is because Jared Harper just straight up took anyone on Duke one-on-one -on -one from three, pulled up right in their face, and drained it. I look he at, balled yeah. out. I look at Auburn like I know it's very, very early to see yeah. these things, but they're a quintessential two seed in one of the regions in March Madness. A lot the of one thing that, though. Yeah, um, the one thing that interests me, the one thing that kind of hinders me on Auburn is they, they live and die by the three. They're that stereotypical Duke. Yeah, a lot of surprises so far early on in the season. That's all the time we have. For the College Hardwood, when we come back, Matt will be discussing what impact you, the viewer, are having in the sports world.